As we approached the new decade, the 90s, two men would pick up where Chuck Norris left off in the action fighting movie stakes. Uh, John Claude Van Damme and Steven Seagal. And both would become phenomenally successful and would entertain my friends and I in the latter part of the 80s and into the 90s and to the present day. John Claude Van Damme, also known as the Muscles from Brussels, captured the imagination of many a young boy way back in the 80s. He was not only a, a great martial arts fighter, but he was also built like an outhouse, an unusual combination. Although Bolo Young comes to mind. Uh, if you don't know who Bolo Young is, he's the big Chinese fella in uh, Enter the Dragon. Uh, Van Damme would first enter my world in the shape of an Ivan Drago-esque figure in No Retreat, No Surrender. And he wasn't a man to be trifled with. He is also not the star of this movie, but an ultimate adversary type figure in a showdown with the main character, a man taught by the ghost of Bruce Lee himself. Uh, this movie certainly got Van Damme noticed, however, with a series of uh, movies released soon, soon after, with him as the main star. You can see why, given his combination of skill, physique and handsome good looks. Bloodsport, uh, now this, this, is, this has to be one of the most entertaining fight films ever. This really is what it's about. Van Damme is not only great in this outing, but it also marked a swift departure from the villain. He played in No Retreat, No Surrender. Uh, his own personality was allowed to come out in this movie and all the others to follow. Uh, I would add like in Van Damme to Schwarzenegger in some regards, the combination of brains, brawn and charm. Kickboxer would come out later on, uh, where Van Damme plays Kurt Sloan. He witnesses his cocksure martial artist brother take a vicious beating in a Thai boxing ring. His opponent, Tong Po, played by Michael Kesey, paralyzes him for good measure. Kurt is powerless to do anything about it and seeks help from a local martial artist to train him in the arts of Muay Thai. This is helped by his encounter with a sympathetic US expat living in Bangkok. I liked the movie then and I like it now. It has all those ingredients one looks for in such a movie. The villain Tong Pao is terrifying as the seemingly invincible nasty and he is nasty in a mean spirited way. We see Van Damme do a little dance in some Thai bar with a couple of bar girls and you've got to be pretty sure of yourself to do this in a movie but he does and you get the impression he's deadly serious about it as he busts some serious moves. In the end Tong Po gets his just desserts as Kurt harnesses his newly acquired Muay Thai powers and directs them onto Tong Po. Uh, Van Damme entertained me in my younger days and continues to do so today. Reminds me I've got to get my hands on a copy of Bloodsport 